Hey everybody, the Bang is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance. And of course this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is the third game in the Banjo-Kazooie series and... This is pretty much the story that takes place between Banjo-Kazooie 1 and Banjo-Tooie. So technically it's the second game in the timeline. And it's actually... The first time this was actually on a portable console. It doesn't have the exact same graphics as Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. I mean, it did a nice enough job, though some people probably weren't a fan of it. So let's do a new game. Two months have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, Gruntilda was buried underground, where she remains, waiting for her sisters to rescue her until this very day. Hey Kazooie, I'll clean the barbecue while you clear things up in the house. Meanwhile... And as Kongo's still trying to save her... I can swear that rock is a grayer or greener color. Kongo not shit rock. This is stress me until that not get out. Maybe Kongo make something to help Grunty. Maybe a grilled cheese sandwich, perhaps? Or... What going on here? Mumbo, wait behind Bush and see. That's the closest he'll ever get to Bush, that's for sure. What the? Is that a robot? Oh dear. This just can't escape if she used magic spell to get Ghost out from under rock and into Mecha Booty. Uh-oh. So her soul is going to be in a robot from now on. With the Mecha Grunty Klungo's made, Banjo's favor will be repaid. I'll steal Kazooie in a blast. I'll use my suit to change the past. Without his bird, Banjo's lost. I won't give up at any cost. That's not the last time Mumbo was eavesdropping. Remember Banjo Katooie? <laughs> Banjo need get Kazooie quick. Grunty back, looking to kidnap favorite friend of Bear for evil plan to change history. Too late, here hat comes. Yeah, let's just stand right there anyway and watch. Now I have your feathered friend. On my sisters, I won't depend. With this duo split in two, there's nothing that I cannot do. Hold tight, Kazooie, we'll move quite fast to travel back into the past. We can't let Grunty get away with this. We've got to get Kazooie back before something awful happens. And something awful already did happen. Mumbo used strong magic, send Banjo back to the same time as Grunty. Banjo tried to find ancestors of old and handsome young witch doctor. They helped Bear get bird back. Old magic not have to too many side effects. Oh great, so now we're going back in time. I wonder if I can find a Master Sword and actually egg seven years out. No, wait, that's a different game. Yeah, because apparently time warps are green and purple, apparently. Wow, that was some light show. Sure how Grunty didn't spot you. Sorry to frighten you, Mr. Monster. I'm feeling a little dizzy. I wonder, could you show me the way to Gruntilla's castle? Grunty's castle's still being built. You must be Banjo. A letter about you appeared in a flash. Like you just did. Came from some Mimba Jimba fella. Mumbo Jumbo! No, it's true, I tell you! Poof! And there it was! It said you need some help to remember a few moves you've forgotten from your trip! What the hell? So apparently that's saying about like don't oh, right now the dialogue's gonna start without me. Call me Bazai! You'll need to learn the pack whack first. I've left my lessons at the next molehill just north of here. Press A and I'll come a running. One more thing, be sure to bring 10 musical notes with you. I ain't doing this for charity. You'll need to collect notes to trade for moves. Okay, so apparently I gotta download some songs illegally, give them to Bazai, and that's how I get new moves. 
And as I was about to say before I was really interrupted by the game, you know that saying where if you went back in time with what you know now, you would change what you could do? Well, Banjo can't do that because what he knew now, he can't learn for then. For some weird reason, time travel manipulates your memory. So much for video games making sense out of anything. Yeah, to Jinjo! Jinjo! You've just found a Jinjo! Go see the Jinjo Oracle and she'll tell you more about these creatures. Oh well, might as well get some notes. I mean, get some new loot. Well now, that's more like it. Let me see them notes. Here you go, Buzz. I downloaded some Judas Priest shit for you. Okay, now let's see. You can use your pack to whack things. If you're standing still, just press B to trigger the pack whack. You'll need this to get into the Jiggy Temple. Just whack the switch on the floor to open the door. But before you go into the temple, why not try talking to the Jinjo Oracle? She might be able to help you find your bird. <laughs> That's what she said. Thanks, Bazai. See you at the next molehill. Bazai, didn't Kazooie call bottles that one time in Banjo Kazooie? I can't remember. At least you can take out those whiplashes with the pack whack. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, there's the Oracle. Uh, uh, what the hell? That's a female. Uh, uh, Sorry to bother you. I was wondering if you could help me find my friend Kazooie. See if the scattered Jinjos can return to the Oracle. Then the Oracle will reveal all the secrets of Jinjodom with a press of A. Ooh, mysterious. Not really, Banjo. The Oracle does not get around much, and requires fresh gossip from lost Jinjos. Impressive! You knew my name without asking. It is written all over the manual. Oh, thanks, Ms. Oracle. I'll go find some Jinjos and call back later. Wow, for a statue that can read with manuals? Brontilda has cast a spell on the Jiggy Priest. He needs your help in his temple to the south. Well, I guess I can go there now, but I might as well do a little bit of exploring first. Well, before I go any further... Oh, this looks like a warp somewhere. I'll leave that alone for later. Hey, is that Mr. Scarecrow Birdie or something? Too bad I can't do Conquers by Birdie. It just glitches on me. What the hell? Ooh, a hollow honeycomb. Looks like you just picked up your first hollow honeycomb. Take them to Honey Bee's Hive near Spiral Mountain to get your health bar extended. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, I cannot get all the notes in Spiral Mountain right away. I have to wait till I learn new moves. Alright, now we're in the temple. Okay, can I go up there? Yes, I can. Yay, got a Jiggy! You have just collected your first Jiggy. Jiggies are powerful objects containing magic strong enough to break the spells of the Great Witch Gruntilda. Gruntilda has scattered our Jiggies far and wide across many lands. The spell that she cast on us Jiggy Priests prevents us from touching any Jiggies, so we are powerless to stop her. The Jiggy that you've just collected has enough power to open the way to Cliff Farm. I will open the gateway to the altar for you. Please carry this Jiggy to the Jiggy Pad and press A to release the Jiggy Magic. That's what she said. Apparently, giant Jiggy people cannot carry Jiggies. Because of a curse. Wow, that explains a lot. Okay, just press A over here, and... Oh, so this little door leads to Cliff Farm. Interesting. Now, do I really need to do a little bit more exploring? I guess I can go to Honey Bee's Hive. Just to guess, see if I can get my health extended. Or get something from my boner. Anyways! I think I gotta go this way. Is there anything else I can see? I guess I can go over here. Yeah, but I can't get up there, it's too high for me. I guess I can go in the water. Spiral rise. I can't get up there. I'm gonna have to climb around somewhere. Okay, I can't go this way. I 
we can do some exploring later, I guess. How about over here? Will this help me any better? Let's see. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. I guess I can just do some exploring later, or I can just go to Cliff Farm right now. Whatever is more suitable. I guess I can just stop the video right here, so stay tuned for the next part when I explore a little bit more. Goodbye, everyone.